upgrade. So in my last video, I did a kind of deep dive into the hardware. Um, but I wanted to upgrade the firmware of this device. And you know, some of the documentation was kind of confusing, like the file structure and everything. Like where you put the files and how you put them on there. Um, like the folders are nested and that kind of stuff. But after this, I'm going to go into my, in front of my computer and I'll show you how to get the right proper format. It took me a couple shots. I mean, I literally was moving files around until I got it to go. But I'll show you the right format and I'll go through the uh, upgrade process. All right, so let me show you the file structure. So last night I downloaded this file. It comes as a zip file. So you got to first unzip it. You can right click on it, unzip it. Um, so within that folder, there's another compressed file. So you got to go back and uncompress that too. I actually have WinRAR, but this folder right here is what you need to copy over to the root. Well, no, actually, it's even inside there. It's nested. <laughs> so that's what this what, what made it confusing is that it's so nested in folder after folder. So this folder needs to be copied over. So let's do that again. So in this folder that you decompressed, there's another folder. Then you got to uncompress this folder. And then you have this, and then this folder is what you need to copy over into the root directory. Uh, this is the S this is the uh, USB flash drive. So this thing needs to have the files directly in it. So you need to have a, that folder with these files. So E drive, this one, see? All right. All right, so I'll do a thumb update here. All right. Um, all right, so I figured out the right file structure. I'll go back on my computer and I'll show you the file structure that it specifically needs. Um, it just it says updating, so. Um, okay. Update finish, turn off power supply. Okay. Uh, <laughs> If I didn't corrupt the firmware, um, yeah, I don't like the fact that as soon as I put it in there, I automatically started updating. At least I should have the option to say update, you know. So I'm just curious, just is that file redirecting the bootloader back to the USB drive? So when it boots up, the bootloader will tell it to pick up the new new flash file for the the uh, Linux OS. All right, that should be 20 seconds. You know, like what's the process? I mean, like the documentation isn't very good on how to do this. All right, there it goes. Okay. So it's flashing over a UART. It's going to take a while. So yeah, it's probably doing updating the Linux image. It's going that slow, but I mean, the, it's who knows what the baud okay, the baud rate is. Okay, so it's going to take a while. Pretty slow baud rate. Yeah, it's funny that I've been messing with the <laughs> UART and serial for 25 years, more than that, 20, I don't know, since the early 90s. Back in the day, like the internet, if, for you younger guys, the internet used to be over like modems, um, 56K. I can, my first computer was a 8088 with a 2400 baud modem. This is before the internet, and I had, um, you know, back then with BBS forums. All right, so I'm going to start if you can see that. Yeah, it probably took uh, <clears throat> like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I checked it. Okay, so it's just going to verify the image reboot. That's what I thought. <clears throat> so it's probably booting the new Linux kernel. Okay. Confirm. All right, let's go back. All right, about. Okay, 4.3. All right, cool. Yeah, very nice printer. Um, like eventually I'm going to probably want to put full, full blown like a uh, clipper on there, like, you know, like reinstall Linux from scratch and do clipper. Uh, but really the main thing is just the screen, uh, trying to figure that thing out. But all right, I think this video helped somebody. Yeah. It's, like I said, it was kind of confusing in the documentation, which folder in the structure.